In this video, we'll go over all of WoW news from the past week and try to compress it into a bite-sized video. This week's weekly event is the Legion Dungeon event. With this, all you have to do is complete four mythic dungeons and you get a piece of gear. Plus, dungeon bosses drop an extra piece of loot at the end. Kind of meh event, unless you already run dungeons regularly or need to gear up an alt. This week we actually have a PvP brawl called the Shadow Pan Showdown. This brawl is kind of crazy as it's like a mixture of PvP and PvE in an arena setting. I'm not really a huge fan of it. If you want to try out a unique, super chaotic PvP brawl, well, this is it, I guess. <laughs> That's the nicest way you can put it. The Dark Moon Fair is in town this week. Lots of pets and mounts to obtain during the monthly event, plus a 10% rep bonus from the carousel if you're farming emissary rep bags or something. For pet battlers, the Dark Moon Fair is one of the few places to catch a crow in the wild, which is a tier one PVP pet and absolutely worth grabbing. Awakening Essence were hotfixed to always drop from any source that can drop them. This was put into place because, coming with the next patch, you'll be able to trade in 175 essences for a legendary token, which you can then use to turn into a legendary for your spec, greatly increasing the speed at which you get legendaries. Blizzard also said they'd be buffing how many essences you normally get after the patch drops, so you don't need to stockpile now if you don't want to, and it won't really hurt you. Some folks have also data mined some of the requirements to unlock allied races on the PTR. The requirements are basically to have completed the storyline quest for the race, like doing all the quests in High Mountain to unlock High Mountain Torrens, plus having purchased Battle for Azeroth and having a character at 110 on the server you wish to make an allied race on. This week's smaller YouTuber shoutout will be for Mr. GM, who decided to go full-time on YouTube recently. Now, he has all kinds of different videos on his channel, but my favorite is his vanilla Iron Man challenge. He told me he doesn't get very many views on the series, so it's not a priority for him. So, it would be very helpful if some of you lovely people went to those videos and just told him to make more anyway. And with that, I'll see you all next week.